My name is Ted Zaris, and uh, I first came to Asinus in 1973, and I taught through 2007. So the thing is, when you see a model for the first time, you don't know what you're going to do. You don't know, I mean, sometimes you might have a preconceived idea, but basically it's a journey of discovery. You have to meet the person, you have to find out what they're uh, about, what they like, their psychology a little bit. And in a few minutes, you'll know what's the apropos pose. It just, it'll just happen. A painting is not actually a photograph, even if you use photographs. The realism is a selective realism, okay? It's also, I don't wanna say a lie, it's almost like making a film. You are putting things together, but the, rea the overall reality, because it's art, is that you see a seamless image. Artists have been doing that for so many hundreds of years that I can hardly count them. But let's say because we're dealing with the age of kind of actuality, realism, that really begins I think I can give you a starting date. I'm gonna say 1426. That's when oil painting is perfected. So we're almost pushing 600 years now for that. But it's not only the paint itself, which is a huge issue because of what you can do with it. It's the procedure, okay? And so that's when in one dramatic stroke, you move away from the medieval symbolic presentation that had been done for many eons, like a thousand years almost, into where the painting is kind of the window on life. It's like a stage that you're walking into the scene and you're asking the viewer to project themselves into the scene. Just like when you go to the movies and you completely embrace the image projected on that screen.